Hello everyone, thanks for being here on our Studio Suite webinar. Today we're going to be talking about how to track your equipment with the Studio Suite. And then for those of you new to Studio Suite, Studio Suite is a resource management software used by TV, film, using production, post-production facilities, universities, government agencies to manage their resources, of course. Um, uh, you can access Studio Suite via a web browser, your desktop, or our mobile application, Studio Suite Lite. These are some of the main modules that Studio Suite offers. We also have some built-in integrations such as Google Drive. We'll have a QuickBooks integration, Slack, and many other really cool ones. Um, again, today we're going to be talking about uh, performing inventory checks in Studio Suite. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now so we can go ahead and get started. So this is what you see when you open up Studio Suite. We have the projects that are happening today over here on the left side. These are events, which are line items that belong to these projects over here on the left side. We can also see our tasks and any follow-ups that need to be done. Uh, so since we're talking about equipment inventory, um, first of all, I wanna show that we these are the modules that are visible right now. One of them is the equipment module. If you see this little number over here um, uh, in red, the number two is letting us know that there are two items that are overdue that need to be returned from our equipment module. Um, now really quick, since we're over here in the home screen, let's go to setup. I like telling people that you can create different divisions so if you're working with rentals and maybe you have an um, audio rental division or a video or audio visual um, that you want to keep separate, you can create different divisions and assign equipment to a particular division in Studio Suite. So um, I just wanted to mention that out real quick. Over here in the setup area, we also have value lists. And here you can create some subcategories for your equipment. I love creating categories and um, just grouping things together. Um, uh, so for example, we have equipment over here and we can create a subcategory for uh, video equipment, audio equipment. And let's say that we wanted to create a new one for maybe cables, just as, as an example. We can do that and then we would go and say, this is gonna be 2.4. And um, uh, here it is. So now we have equipment, video, audio, and cables. So uh, this is just optional. It's under setup and value lists. Now let's go back home. All right, um, let's uh, open up our equipment module right here. This would be the list view. Over here on this top ribbon, we have a few different options. So we click find all, it's gonna show us every piece of equipment that we have on our inventory. And if you click on any of these pieces of equipment, then you're gonna get to the detailed view. So here we are on detailed view. And let me go ahead and find, um, Go ahead and find the piece of uh, gear that has some uh, data in it. Let's maybe use this Avalon as an example. So once you're in a detailed view, you have the opportunity to um, assign this piece of equipment to a particular division from your company right here. That's what I was mentioning a little bit uh, just a few minutes ago. And we all can also include the serial number for this piece of equipment, barcode number, purchase date, and a lot of other important information. Who owns it, when it was purchased, the costs, is it leased? Um, and it's also, Studio Suite is also tracking the maintenance and maintenance costs associated with this Avalon preamp. Um, so if we move over here um, um, to the right side, we're seeing the financial tab. We can also set depreciation schedules so let's say that if in five years we estimate that this piece of gear is going to be worth $600, we can do that, click on this button, and then we're going to have this depreciation schedule right here. We can also have packages 
So um, this is uh, pretty useful. So uh, let's say that this mic preamp comes with some cables or some other equipment, maybe, uh, maybe an EQ or anything like that. You can have child items associated with this preamp. So anytime you book the preamp, you're booking the child items. So to do that, we would just go over here and let's say, um, uh, here we go, we want some cables an XLR cable to come along with that, then we just select that. There we go, and now we have an XLR that comes included with this mic preamp. We have uh, collections also. So um, a collection is a way for you to group equipment of the same kind. This equipment tends to be of high value, and it's good to track this equipment um, individually and as a group. So I'll be showing you a little bit more about collections in just a second. So if um, this preamp would be part of any collection, it would show up over here. But we're going to talk about that in just a second. Uh, next, we have the miscellaneous tab. Over here, we can tell Studio Suite to include this mic preamp with um, any room. In this case, I'm telling it to include it with a Studio A. You can also assign it to a department. Um, if it's um, some software-based um, equipment, you can include the version over here, IP address, dimensions, any other relevant info that you want to add. You can also include it over here. Um, if you have any accessories, you can include accessories over here as notes. Also, if there's a maintenance contract, you can also keep track of that right here. And um, you can also create different levels. So uh, for example, if you're working for a, um, in your college department and you only want your senior students to be able to check out this piece of equipment, then we would select this right here, senior staff, and only senior level people would be able to check out this piece of equipment. So that's pretty useful. Now, if we go up to uh, the ribbon above this white ribbon right here, we can see the manufacturer, model, description, and we have this checkbox over here that, that says pool. So a pool, it's sort of similar to a collection. So it's used to group um, equipment of the same kind and that doesn't need to be tracked individually. So this is usually for lower value items. Uh, such as cables, batteries, adapters, stands, or sandbags, anything of low value. So um, if this would be um, maybe 20 XLR cables, we could check the pool, uh, include 20 over here. And then we can keep track of how many of those cables are going in and out, just to make sure that we always have um, those on stock. In stock. All right, um, we also have including web requests, this little checkbox over here. So what this does is that it, it allows for this piece of gear to show up in Studio Suite Lite, the mobile application. So that way, um, people who are using the mobile app, they can um, book equipment, um, separate equipment with a mobile app. So I'll show you that um, in just a second. And we also have library. So if you check on this library hard disk checkbox over here, it's gonna tell Studio Suite that this is related to some thing, to an item in the library module. So maybe to a hard drive. So that's what this uh, tab is for. And let's go ahead and take a look what happens if I do include in web request. So if I select that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to Studio Suite Lite. So this Studio Suite Lite, it's pretty much just a scaled down version of the fully featured version. And uh, this one, you can access it from your phone, from a tablet. And you can imagine that if you're on your phone, you would be scrolling with your thumb, right? And uh, you can also access it from a web browser like I'm doing right now. So um, uh, here it is, uh, if we go to web request, which is what we were discussing, we can see that we have items over here. So we have uh, some people, rooms, recording budget, and we could have equipment or we could have more items over here. 
So right here, if I select this one and include a web request, then this Avalon mic, I mean, uh, mic preamp would show up over here. So if I'm Eddie, I would be able to book it and request it from here. So actually, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see if it's refreshed. Okay, and here it is. So here's our Avalon mic preamp. So we check it, we select the time. Let's say this is 2 p.m. And um, let's say 2 11. And we wanna use it until 7 p.m. There we go. So if we click on submit, now this request is sent to the studio manager and the studio manager will know that Eddie wants to use this mic preamp on this date at a certain time. And if we go over here to Studio Suite, uh, to Web Request, here's the new request that we just created. Here's the date, 527. And now the studio manager will see that somebody requested an Avalon 737 mic preamp. And if you want to go ahead and process a request, you can just click on this and say accept it. Then the person who requested this piece of gear would see that response on their end. So that was a quick little detour on how you can request or book pieces of equipment or rooms or people for that matter with Studio Suite Lite and web request. Now, okay, let's go back to equipment modules. We were uh, looking at, let's go back to our Avalon example. Here it is, we have including web requests. So we saw how all of that works really well. And um, so uh, I said, we're gonna talk a little bit about collections, right? So we do have a specific tab for collections and it's right here, right below equipment. So here we are, we have three collections created right now. We have one for hard drives, another one for an X1000 Sony camera, and another one for the C100. So uh, let's click on this so we can take a look at the details. Right here, we can have a separate barcode um, for this uh, piece of equipment. So let's say that I would wanna say this is maybe 555. Five, five. Then I can go to the next one. I can say this one's gonna be 556. Five, I'll go to the next one. And it uh, looks like I just have two of those, perfect. So um, uh, let's go ahead and move back to the first one that we had. So here we are, we have a Sony, I mean, um, Canon C100. This one has barcode 555. If I move to the next one, we have um, this group with 556, and this one's a Sony X1000. And uh, right here on the bottom is where you can specify how many of these cameras we have. So we have a barcode and we have um, all of these different cameras. If we wanted to add another one, we can just simplify, simply just add it from here. So let's say that we want five. So we just added five more. And now it looks like we, we got a total of 10. Now, if you wanna change the, uh, the barcodes for each of these, that's uh, really simple as well. So by clicking on this on this camera one, it's gonna take us to the item view right now. And here we have the opportunity to create a serial number. So maybe let's say that this is gonna be 5551. Now, if I go to the next one, I can label this one just a bit. Any other um, barcode? Actually, um, I wanted to talk about barcodes. So I was talking about serial numbers. That's really not gonna change, but it's a barcode. So if you wanna do a different barcode for this one, 5558, we can do that. We'll just move on to the next one. 
and to do maybe five, 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 nine, and you get the idea. So you can establish barcodes for each of these um, pieces of gear in that collection. So these are our items. This is the item view, and we have collection view. And we were using this Canon C100 as the example. So here we can see that now we have a total of nine because we added five. So now when you're booking these cameras or using them in projects, Studio Suite is gonna calculate which ones have been checked out and which ones are available. And it's gonna let you know that way you can easily keep track of that information. Um, all right, um, another really important thing are rates. So let's go back to our items list. And let's go find all. We're going to use our Avalon as an example again. OK, so um, we have the rates tab. We can create an unlimited amount of rates for this mic preamp. And by selecting a D right here, we can choose which of these rates comes in as a default once we use this piece of gear. If we wanted to create a new one, that's super easy. You can just create another one right here. Moving over to event history, we can see in which events has this mic preamp been used. So it looks like it's being used in a recording session for Spotify. And it's currently checked in. It's not checked out. And we have the status right here. You can also override the status. So uh, here it is at my preamp. So if the status is checked out, then you can override it from here. Checked out. Now, Studio Suite is asking us if we want to label any of these other items as checked out, but I'm going to say no. Okay, so there it is. Now let's go back to the equipment module. We were looking at Avalon Preamp. Pre we know that we've been using it in a, it's been used for this project. And we also have our scan manager right here. So with Scan Manager, we can um, perform inventory checks. So let's say that this is me, and I'm in the equipment room, and I scanned an item. Let's uh, use one of the ones that we created. Let's say that we did 5558. Uh, there we go. So now we see Canon C100 camera number two. And we see that on this date and this time, Julio checked that this camera was where it was supposed to be in the equipment room. And I'm going to add a note. So it was in perfect condition. OK, so that's one side of it. The other side is um, right here on the, with these uh, four little boxes that you see right here. So all scanned, since, non-scanned, and since. If I choose a date, so for example, if I choose the beginning of the year and I click on since, I'm going to search for every piece of equipment that I've scanned since the beginning of the year. So it looks like I've just scanned these items. And this mic preamp, it's due today. I'm getting this uh, little notification over here, which is really cool. Um, and now, if I want to find all the items that I haven't scanned since the beginning of the year, I can just click on not scanned since, and here's the date. So this is everything that hasn't been scanned. So maybe I'll get one of my interns to go to the equipment room with a laser scanner and go ahead and scan all of these. Okay, so that's on maintenance. Actually, that was on event history. We're taking a look at scan manager right here. Now let's move over to maintenance history. Here um, you can track all of the, uh, you can schedule and keep track of maintenance that has been done to this, um, I guess we're looking now at a Neumann microphone. So if uh, you needed to change or uh, make any fixes, 
to this mic, you can document them over here in this section. We have attachments, so this is useful if you have a user guide, user manual, or a receipt. You can attach it and bring it in from any of these guys right here. We can create a path to one of our files in our computer, or we can also attach the file itself. And once we attach the file itself, we can open it from right here from within Studio Suite. We have Web Viewer. So this is uh, looking for um, this piece of equipment on the web. We, we have uh, the usual suspects. Um, this is, uh, could be useful if you are looking to sell it, looking for parts, looking to get a new one. Moving over to connectors and cables. Here is we can, where we can specify if we want to attach uh, some cables or some other equipment to this Neumann right here. Add reports. This one's um, pretty useful as well and important. So we talked in the beginning how we can create different companies in Studio Suite. So right here is where I can choose the company that I want to create that report for. So I'm going to use Millennial Productions as the example. And I just want to report right now, let's say for all of my equipment and sorted by manufacturer. So I'm going to say print equipment list. And uh, here it is. So we have uh, Ari, Canon, and Lazy. And we can see some uh, other information over here. So repairs, cost, value, purchase date as well. We can um, get a PDF out of this and send it out if we would like. We also have the opportunity to send um, get reports for clients. So this one equipment for client list, it doesn't show the price but it does show the equipment. So maybe if you're showing one of your clients an AV package or a camera package, you can uh, select that package, click here, and you can show that list to your client for approval. Um, we also have equipment lists for insurance purposes, of course, and we have other uh, tabs over here. Right here on the bottom, we have uh, some barcode information. So what a lot of our clients will do is um, that they will get a laser scanner for the barcode and then they'll link that to Studio Suite and that way they can easily perform their inventory checks. So with those barcodes, you can request them to start at a um, specific number that you want. Maybe if you wanted to start at 1000 and go incrementally from there, or if you are already using a barcode system, you can also use those barcodes that you have already created with Studio Suite and importing your equipment list in Studio Suite is really easy and it just takes a matter of minutes with our template. So we have a specific template for that. As long as you have your equipment list um, organized in an um, Excel sheet, we can import it into Studio Suite really easy. All right, so um, here we go. This is the equipment module. And um, I also wanted to show real quick if we go to rooms, since I showed it earlier, I figured um, it'd be good to just show it right here again. Um, we're in rooms in Studio A, installed equipment. So here we can see that in Studio A, we have this Avalon mic, Neumann, RED camera, a couple of other items in there. All right, and if we go to a project, let's just uh, create a new project as an example. And let's say that this is our um, equipment example. We can choose a client, so it could be internally, if you're just doing this uh, for your internal company, or if you are doing it for an external client, that's uh, totally fine as well. So here we go, we chose client, we put a title, and now if we want to add uh, some equipment, we can just um, add it from here. There's uh, different ways where you, how you can add it. You can either filter for all of your equipment. You can look for subcategories, so uh, video DA, or you can just type in the specific name of that item. 
So maybe if I'm just looking for cameras, I can just type that in. And it's gonna look for everything that has camera title. Or I can just do equipment and then camera. Okay, and uh, here, if you look at this one, at the C100, this was one of the collections that we created and we added a few more of these cameras, right? So we had a total of nine and we booked one of them in a project. So now Studio Suite is letting us know that there's only eight available. So I'm good on this one. So if I wanted to book this one, that's totally fine. And I can change the quantity as well. So maybe I wanna use three of them, perfect. So here's our camera. And then we add it, we can override these um, prices over here. So if we wanna charge a little bit more, that's okay. Suite so Suite always does the math for us. We'll calculate our p and Now let's just set a few more items over here. So let's pretend that we are uh, doing maybe a photo shoot and uh, And let's see, we're gonna need some people. It's the producer. All right, so now we've added a few more things over here. So we have some equipment, we have a producer, and we have a studio. If, actually, let's go ahead and add um, just a little bit more of equipment. So right now we're looking at the actual charges view. We also have in projects a way to view barcodes and barcode information. So here it is, barcode. And now we are seeing all the same line items, but we are seeing barcodes. And we can also see the status if it's checked out or checked in. I can also check, um, change the status for all of them from here. So if I want all of these to be checked out, I can just overwrite it. And now they're all checked out. Uh, from here with the actual bar barcode view, I can also add items by just um, using the barcode. So let's use one of the new ones that we created. Okay. So I just added uh, that one in particular, which was um, barcode 5559. It's Canon C100 camera three. So it was able to add it, but we have this um, little X right here. So this is letting us know that there's a conflict. So it looks like it's um, being used in project 1032, which is the project that we're on right now. So ideally, I would want to switch this one or eliminate this one so that there's no conflict. It's a good example just so you can see how Studio Suite is checking for conflicts. Right, so that's um, uh, kind of how you would um, utilize a whole equipment module. You can create your own barcodes. You can add um, pieces of equipment to a project using barcodes. So if you were using one of your laser scanners, you would also be able to be adding items with your laser scanner to this project right here. Anything that you add in the projects module will reflect in the calendar module. So you can also create your projects and book equipment from the, from the calendar module. So let's take a look at that real quick. Usually try to keep these webinars to maybe around 30 minutes. So we're kind of getting close. If you have any questions, um, hopefully some of you have typed those in the chat box so we can discuss them in um, just a few minutes. All right, so here we are in the calendar module. I'm in my equipment preset. Presets are one of my favorite things so uh, that I can just display the information that I'm looking for. So we have uh, this Canon, a couple of more cameras, mixing board, and a hard drive. All right, so here we are, May 27th. Let's say that I wanna create a new project and 
I'm going to assign one of my employees. So I'm going to assign Kini. It's a new employee schedule. And I also want to go ahead and uh, use a hard drive and a few cameras. I'm going to create a new project. Actually, I'm going to add all of these things to the new project that we just created. So we'll select Add to Existing Projects and proceed. Now we're going to look for the new one that we just created, which was Equipment Example Project. Again, SUSU is checking for conflicts. It's letting us know that this microphone is already being used in a different project. And now it's asking us if we want to go back to calendar view or to the projects module. So I'm going to say, let's go back to calendar. Okay, so now we can see in the calendar that we have these items booked. If we go to projects, we're going to see those items that those items have been added right here. So here it is a couple of cameras and another hard drive. And the new ones that came in, they are coming in as a confirmed status, default status, but you can change that as well. So you can change the default or you can change it manually from over here as well. And again, just um, if you missed it or didn't catch it earlier, whenever you get this pop-up window, uh, Sweetie Suite is pretty much just asking you if you want to apply that same action to any of these other items. So if you want to match the action or not match the action, and if you want to match the times and the status data. So in this case, I'm just going to say no. All right. So I think um, the last thing that I want to leave with you is just let you know that you can also have equipment assigned to a particular person as well. So we saw how we can have equipment attached to a room. We can also have equipment attached to a person. So maybe whenever you, you book Johnny the engineer, um, you always book a, a particular uh, mixing board or a particular um, EQ or compression configuration, or you always book the same cameras or the same edit bay when you book Johnny, the editor. So all of that is possible in Studio Suite. All right, so let me go ahead and see if there are any questions today. Okay, so it looks like we don't have um, any questions, my friends. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for participating in this webinar. And I'm gonna show up on screen now. Um, our phone number where you can reach us and let us know if you have any questions about Studio Suite or if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo. You can also go to our website and from our website, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial. So actually, let me show that to you real quick. So here's our website and if you click on free trial, um you'll just go to this page right here let us know a little bit about who you are and about your company what you're looking for and that's it click submit and then you'll get the credentials for your trial and instructions on how to run your trial there's no credit card required so um that's pretty easy and so uh, for next week, we have accessing Studio Suite remotely via web browser. That's a really hot topic right now. And um, thank you so much all again. Please go to, to our website if you want to find some more information. If you have any other questions or anything in the equipment module that I didn't cover and that you want to um, get some more info on, please shoot me a note, sales at studiosuite.com, or you can also call our sales phone numbers. 
um, again, thanks uh, all so much, and I hope to see you next time.